Next at 10, it is World Refugee Day, and the United Nations says the number of refugees around the world has now topped 100 million, and a third of them are children. More than 5 million of refugees come from Ukraine, where fighting rages on. More than a third of Ukrainians have fled Russia's invasion. The United Nations says nearly two-thirds of Ukraine's children are now homeless. And I've seen a number of children, even young, young children, severely traumatized by what they've witnessed. In this crisis, Americans are stepping up to help, from celebrities like Ben Stiller, who was spotted in Kyiv over the weekend, to everyday folks who are volunteering their time and donating to the ongoing crisis. Many refugees now call the Madison area home. We heard from many of them during a discussion tonight. News 3 Now's Arman Rahman was there and joins us with their stories. Charlotte, along with celebrating success and recognizing challenges, the message of many of the resettled refugees was to not forget about those fleeing countries across the globe after the millions escaping Russia's war with Ukraine have been dominating the headlines recently. It's not about celebration only. It's about a wake-up call. For those who have made new lives in the area, World Refugee Day serves many purposes. When I commemorate such day, like such event, it's like to try to, sh to show support to those who are still going through that, uh, those situations. We show that we are together with them. That support coming from Jewish social services in Madison, helping many of the refugees who spoke. The refugee communities that are growing and thriving in Madison add to, add to our community and um, bring lots of positive impacts, including economic, including cultural, and it's a good thing that, that Madison is such a welcoming community. Many came from the Democratic Republic of Congo, which has been suffering war and genocide for close to 30 years. Someone who has never, tests, has never tested the war cannot understand how it feels like you leave everything behind. You even leave some of your dreams. Since he got here three and a half years ago, Kasim Rajab now has a job helping other refugees get settled in Madison. But he says after Russia's invasion of Ukraine, many others in need are being overlooked. You wonder, like, uh, Congolese lives are more or less important than Ukrainians. It's not a good politics. It's like double standard, which affects the population of Congo. The World Refugee Day event took a pause due to the pandemic, further stressing Montader al shamari and his disabled brother's arrival from Iraq. We had to stay like at home as much as possible to like to make sure that any one of us won't get COVID, and it was just unknown, and unknown is scary. Montader has since started studying cybersecurity at Madison College. His is one of many happy endings these refugees chalk up to their new community. I've made Madison my home, and I was one of the lucky refugees to being, being resettled in Madison. And Jewish Social Services of Madison hopes to resettle 180 refugees in the next fiscal year. They say in order to do that, they need to hire more case managers and need more affordable housing from community partners.